So like wait, that, she has the mind associated. like a human and human appearance. Like you're trying to give me the traits I value, and then saying I can't, I don't see them from my limited pers uh, perspective, and then it would be okay for them to to have it. But if I would say well, independently you, of you, my just subjective, to be clear, just to be clear, do you value the actual shape, or is that what, or is it just what you associate the shape with? Yeah, just one second. Um, if um, Isaac says he uh, say, uh, says he wants to have this recorded, does this have a specific reason, or or is this just a general thing you do on this Discord? I just think I guess you'd probably want to upload it to like the debate archive thing. I just think it's an interesting conversation. I think a lot of people would like to listen. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, I don't like that that much, but, like, I think we, we can't, like, continue and agree to being recorded, I guess. And I would like to continue, so I would just say, okay, then record it, but if I like um, realize that I don't want to have a chart, um, can I ch uh, still say... Well, look, I'm, I'm not going like to force you to... I'm not going to force you to debate, but I mean... Okay. <clears throat> if we're going to... I, 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 I'm fine I will with not that. say anything about it. Um, and I will see what happens. So, okay, to get back to okay so do you value the actual shape of a being does that actually just have value to you or is it what do you associate the shape with because i'm trying to figure out what that trade actually means yeah yeah so i'm trying to explain i come from the perspective of a human um humans value the shape of things or and for of species and they evolved to do this, and that's I think like the main reason why I value the shape. I don't think like shape has objectively something into it that gives it intrinsic value or something like that. I think for a human who gives value to other beings or even things, the shape is important for giving this value. I could make the example um, if I have like cars and I have a Ferrari and a Toyota. Just the appearance of the Ferrari, even if the engine and everything interior is the same in both cars, just the different appearance brings the people to give the Ferrari a higher value, even if it's like the same, um, like the Toyota internally, than to the Toyota, or not all people, but some people. And it's like, okay, like in up. this sense, I would say like, it's important. Okay, so, well, some people might say it's important, some people won't. That's just a subjective evaluation. And again... I'm not appreciating an answer. Like, so I'm just trying to figure out if we need to add another trait, right? So the trait was that you associate them with being human, but but now, right, it sounds like you personally value the shape. So if you want to do that, then that old trait stack needs refinement. We can add it again. I don't like doing that, right? It's 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 exhaustive for you to come with your list of traits that no, no, no. Like animals and let's, then let's stay with what I did what, provide you. Well, because what you're doing is like you've done it several times now where you'll add something external. Oh, okay, I don't I don't want to add it. Oh maybe I want, but I, I won't. Yeah, so then, um, then then the reductio is just we have Superman's daughter and you mistake her for being not not human. I mean for for not having the shape of a human. Your eyes yeah, just not deceive having you, just shape deceive and not having the mind. But if I go she away has the from shape, subject, right? she, she looks. She looks exactly. Okay, but if I like, if I you just, um, you just like just like your eyes have deceived you when you when you read a, a word wrong, right? Sometimes you're dyslexic. And you just you just interpret it the wrong way. You just look at her and you evaluate her as not having the shape of a of a human, even though she is identical to the human shape. Right, and she doesn't have the mind of like a human either, right? She's first off, she's not even human. She's Superman's daughter, 
So there's nothing there that you can appeal to. We're controlling for all of that. So according to your trait list that you've provided for justifying killing animals, this is where it leads. It leads logically down this route where you'd, you would have to say it's fine to just kill her. Yeah, but the hard part of the the argument or the reductio, I would say, is like she looks like a human, but I don't evaluate her as a human. And by this misconception or by the error I make, that's like the big deal. If if she wouldn't look like a human, because I like think human it's a big deal. Yeah. Trait, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be comfortable with biting that bullet. Yeah, but if she wouldn't be human looking. It, it wasn't based on my error. That's like the objection uh, most people have uh, to to this redactio. Because they say uh, she does look like a human, just because you can't see that she looks like a human, you, uh, that you shouldn't do it. She is a human. Obviously, she, she looks like a human. And like my trait was human appearance. And what you're saying is, okay, what if I... Was the can't... trait human appearance, though? Or like... Sorry, so was the trait that you associate them with being human? Because I pressed no, you on that, uh, right? I said like, so how this all started, like how this all, problem. just let me clarify, let me clarify. So how this all started was, ask yourself, gave you a reductio, and then you said, oh, you're you're misinterpreting my trait. My trait, human appearance, actually means this, that I, like, it actually means that I associate them with looking like a human. No. Oh, so okay. I thought that, I no, thought that no, we had, no, I thought we had no, modified no, it, right? So now, yeah, I understand. now you're, you're, no. you're uh, what I meant is looking like back and forth. Sir, Let me finish yeah. on. Okay, I let me finish on speaking. So, sort of right now, you're flip flopping, flopping back and forth because you see where each of those leads, right? So we modified it. Isaac gave you the reductio. You weren't comfortable with that. He asked me to speak with you, and now that I'm speaking with you, you're not happy with either. So, I mean, what no, do you want to do? Do you want to um, add? You want to modify no, I don't want to add or modify. Um, I want to clear, clarify, uh, clarify what I mean. Um, I think it, you did mis misunderstand me. And that's why I had a big problem with this reduction. Because what I mean is I'm in human appearance and that's my trait. But what I uh, want to say or include is if you add a pigtail to a human that does not make like the human appearance go away. Um, that's like still very human-like. And that's why I say I shouldn't be able to associate it with a human. Let's just, let's just steel man it. So we'll say it's both. So we'll say it's, we're going to add this because as you provided it, it led to a contradiction. Are you, do you yeah, agree? Yeah, but that's what I mean. Right. So you agree. Like human so, appearance right, so, and this right. association thing. I don't mean like one individually. That That's not what I'm meaning all the time. But right. yeah, so, yeah, now so that we'll we steel man. Get, so we're going to add both as separate traits yeah. like, separately. So we'll have the appearance and then we'll also have that you associated with being, being with looking like a human or looking sufficiently like a human. Right. So now that we'll just change the reductio. So we'll just have, yeah. we'll just have Superman's daughter. She's, she, let's just say she, uh, she's mentally handicapped right? To the level that a cow functions. And again, I think cows are highly intelligent. I don't know why yeah. people insist on, on degrading like the, the incredible intelligence of cows to the level. Like, I think it's, it's crazy to compare cows with disabled. Yeah. People. But if, if, if they well, look, have I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just appealing to, to your sentiment, right? Or your, yeah, your sensibilities. No, I'm so. this, uh, to make it easier for you to argue, um, saying like, I'm, no, no, I think I'm, like I'm granting it. I'm granting it to you to make it easier to to argue. Yeah. Okay. Right? Just make the reduction. Yeah. So we have Superman's daughter. She's mentally handicapped, and we simply use that consciousness device. We transfer into uh, a robot, so she can think. She can feel. She's still living, right? She has full sensation. Exactly the same. Okay, and right. what uh, do you want me to do with her, or what is like? Yeah, is it fine? The is it fine now? Conflict? Is it fine now to do to her what we do to cows? Okay. Which is, if I, which is, if I yeah, ask you, why wouldn't with it? cows? Just to be clear, with cows, I'm sure you're aware we we serial stab them. We 
you know, tie them yeah, down. We artificially inseminate them. Some would call that rape. Some would argue that. But yeah, let's just say we're doing that. Let's just say we're doing that action to her, and we can scale that up. We could say it's fine to do that forever. It's it's not even a moral conversation to you. You're you agree with it? Yeah. What I want to say, like, um. She's the same like those cows, and the only f- difference is the appearance, and the appearance is um, being an AI. And that's the only difference she has to a cow, and the decent, like the history, but let's say that does not matter. The only difference is she looks like an AI or is uploaded to a cloud, and that's the only difference between her and a cow, then I wouldn't have a problem with her, with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I the mean, only difference is the appearance, and the appearance is not just human. To be, just, just to be clear, right? Like Superman would, you know, still have the same relationship with with her. There, there are, and again, right? Like he values her. I, I'm sure a lot of people would look at that and and look yeah, at their relationship. Would, would, she would have this capacity context. to love, just like cows do. So we're not removing any of that. And she has yeah, this yeah, incredible it, capacity it, uh, for pain. Well. It would be the same uh, between human, uh, between super human, Superman and uh, his daughter would be the same uh, as relationship between a cow mother and his daughter cow, uh, or a cow father and his daughter cow. It would be the same level. So everything would be the same. And the only difference is she looks. Uh, she does not look like a cow, and everything else is um, equal. Yeah, yeah. So let's and, just say, like, let's just say she had some disease that was killing her. The only way to save her was to transfer her. Yeah, mind she, into she does her. not have like the human mind. She does. She's like oh, just looking like an. Well, she, has, an she, eye. Has, she has. She so has Superman I species. Mind. I don't, if, if, not, if, sorry, what? Like, so you're you're fine with if the only way to save her was to transfer into another body as soon as she leaves that shell it's it's instantly okay to stereo step yeah but uh, she did yes, not possess a, a human body before uh, okay that, no even if even if okay i understand even if she does the moment you lose the human appearance Wait, it would be okay yes. it's like that yeah like, yeah 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 so i see definitely the problem you run into it. So is that um, a no? But is if, that a, if, just, um, just be clear. Just be clear. Is that a no? Like, I just we we want an answer. Yeah, Are but I will clear? I will say yes, but I will um, give you a um, a situation. You have like the average human being. Like, I think you always say you reduct to absurdity. You're uh, um, reducted to absurdity if like the main population of humans disagree with you. And what um, I will give you is a situation where you have uh, Hera, the daughter, presented to a human being and saying, will it be okay to holocaust her? And she would look like a human or something like that. And most people would say, no, it would not be okay. Then you <laughs> present her after her transformation. And they do not know anything about her past. I you think ask that, you ask the, uh, them, think that is that it okay is... now? And then they would say yes. So she would lose the quality that that's she would possess irrelevant. right now. I don't even think that's related to the reductio that was given. Yeah, so, but, but what so I would say, I most people, happened. if they do not know the history behind it, would have no problem with it. Yeah, so, I mean, the point here is that it, it seems like, at least your position... And anecdotally, from what I've observed, it seems like most non-vegan positions actually reduce to a minority position. And it's it's clear that the vegan positions actually are very sensible. So vegans, even though we hold the vast minority in terms of the population today, once we actually examine these views, it seems like we actually hold a majority ethical position. Like I would, I would absolutely say that it's psychopathic to take Superman's daughter and if the only way to save her was to put her transfer her mind into a new body, that as soon as she leaves her body it's fine to kill to kill the new being or to, to kill the new yeah. body. Yeah, so- that's that's crazy. That I, I think most people, if given that exact scenario, would say, What the fuck's wrong with you? 
I, I am yeah, but taking the, a gambit the, the there, reason right? they would say this is like I think like name the trait comes down. You're to psychoanal- like, psychoanal- you're, you're psychoanalyzing. Like like I just yeah, but I, I'm like, to, like like get out, get out of how crazy that sounds, right? Yeah, but it, it like the dimension you're using is like the psychological dimension of the humans and why it would be outrageous for them. And the reason it would be outrageous for them is like they value like humans and humanity, and they they would say like, "Oh, she was Superman's a human before," human. or something like that, or Hold she's up. the daughter oh. of a human, Hold and that's like what Dude, they no, say. Why it's Superman's outrageous. not human? No, Superman's not human. So that that's going out the window again. You're psychoanalyzing, but that's not yeah even okay. Like, oh. um, but if you would not pick a su- uh, superhuman. Um, Superman, which is like associated with a human, and you would pick any random animal and say the same thing, nobody would have a problem. It wouldn't be outrageous. Okay. And the, Look, the only reason sort of, it, it, it sounds like you're you're almost getting at the point of why we run this argument. Except, yeah, I, I, that's what, why, what, what I was uh, to... trying to get you. Why do why does the reduction work? And by understanding what is. What are the traits behind the reductio working? And if I understand the traits that humans it sounds value like they are, it and sounds the reason like they are why the reductio works, then I can see what are the traits that I was not able to grasp myself yet, and I can conclude. Um, I can think about them and put them into my framework of traits, okay. um, Look, knowing so do, what consists two, of the reduction. You could do two things here. So one is you could do that. You could. You could take your your list of failed traits. I mean, you bit the bullet, right? You said it would be fine to just serial stab her. So, I mean, if you want to change your view, which right now is you know it's consistent, you're you're saying it's fine to just murder her, but it sounds like you want to go back and refine your view and and, and come back with a different list of traits. You know, I predict that you're not going to find a list that you're actually comfortable with. It's our it's our you know, it's my best guess that the only view that most people are comfortable with are actually vegan positions. Uh, when we really get down to, I mean, you have psychopaths, right? You have, you'll have crazy people who just say it's fine to kill, kill disabled people. We have, we have people in here all the time. I'm sure you're aware if you've been here enough, but yeah, you know, there's, there's, there's another option that you have available. You could just reflect on your actual values which is the point sort of like like you're giving this psychoanalysis but let me provide you with an alternative here is you reflect on your values and you say actually my values actually reflect veganism you know yeah but the argument doesn't have to you could go you could go one of two ways right you could you could say i'm gonna go full psychopath and murdered superman's daughter right or you could reflect and you could say actually i'm not fine with that i'm I'm fine with the vegan position so that's i'll leave that up to you yeah but what i'm trying to understand is what is uh, the trait hidden in this reductio that people value that make this claim so crazy or i don't don't know and if i understand this trait or if we understand maybe you know already what the trait is look i'm not here to to like and to answer that that's not the purpose of this conversation yeah. like i i think that there's a very high prob- uh, probability that i did not get all the traits i as a human consider valuable because i don't think of them uh, in the beginning and they're like more hidden in the uh, in the human being in the sense well and- there's something weaselly about that right because you actually are currently eating meat and you don't even know what justifies it like you literally have no, you can't even produce a sufficient list here. You're saying, well, I, I don't fucking know what justifies this. We're doing this to billions of animals. We're allocating a third of the world's usable land for animal agriculture, which is, this is a massive world issue. And for you to just say, eh, I don't fucking know. I just haven't thought of it. It's It seems very, very dubious. Okay. So, um, to to like we can move on afterwards if we say we have the trait like the mind of a human we have the trait of the human appearance and is there okay is there no probably there isn't because i think like that's the point of the argument 
can you make, run this argument without involving humans in any point? You, know, you can't because you have like to trade equalize it with an animal. Well, look, well, look, like Superman's not a human, and his daughter isn't human either. They have they have totally different DNA. So I ha I already have accomplished that. I haven't invoked humanity at all. It seems like with that. Yeah, but we have like a are, conception that they are humans, even if they do not real uh, exist in real life. Well, and hypothetical. That's um, that's weird. Like, like that. why would you demand that? Like what? Like why? Are you, why would you even say that that's one of your demands? Because I I don't understand what what even is the purpose. Yeah, so I did give you like the example before with the plant and the grandma. And yeah, I'm trying to analyze myself. Because you, cause you, cause you, cause you know that, that reasons cows... reasons why I, I believe... Like, you know, cows are a lot closer to humans than, than they are to plants, right? So just yeah, seeing... Yeah, like that's a, like a obviously... Huge, huge, and like, I, I think like a huge leap that you're making there. So, I don't know. I'm not convinced by this. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm convinced by this. I don't I'm even think you're. I don't, I, I don't even think you're convinced by this. I think that what you're doing is motivated reasoning. You want to find a justification, even though you haven't been able to produce anything that even you're comfortable with. So it yeah, seems but, like just but I'm going to say this: ad hoc reasoning here. You you did run this out like for a thousand times or something like that, and Isaac too, and for a couple of years it seems like by now. And if and if anyone did not come up with a trait or something that did change your mind uh, mind yet, then it seems like it's not easy to answer this question. If in, if I'm not able within a couple of hours with, to come up with a decent answer, with, with, uh, which does entail everything, I think that it's kind of obvious that this would be the case. I have to think more about it, but it's like yeah, not that I'm but, a stupid moron or something like that. Just because um, I try to to make or to make progress on this question and think more about it. I feel yeah, like but, I mean, to the, to the to the contrary, right? I mean, I like you're right. I have more experience experience with the actual argument itself, but I mean, I've been trying to find a way around it for as long as I've been been dealing with it, right? And I can't personally find any conglomeration of traits that i'd actually be comfortable with biting the bullet on so so what like what you're saying there applies equally in the other direction so it could just be that you don't have the experience or i mean like maybe one day you maybe one day you'll actually find a tra trace like that you're comfortable with maybe you'll go vegan I, I don't know but it seems like most trait stacks i mean everyone that i've heard at least leads to absolutely crazy positions and i think that those positions are they fall into the minority and i think that again the vegan positions are much more sensible when it really boils down to it like what would be your personal problem with just saying okay fine the vegan position is sensible there's nothing wrong with it and you might be motivated to consider okay. like 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 this is what um, this is literally what we're talking about here it's you go to the store and instead of buying a beef burger, you buy a burger that tastes exactly the same. Costs very much similar, right? Let's let's just we're controlling for all that, except there's not the suffering and, and torture that went into the to that burger. It's just a bean burger. Like what? Like why are you not motivated to to just try that? I mean, look so, at look uh, in general chat right now. Just scroll up a little bit, see what vote vote bidden now posted. That's that's Bren. Look look at that. Look at that bowl. Like, does that not just make your mouth water? That's vegan. I mean, so why? Did yeah, but I did not say like I have a big problem with veganism or something like that. All I was trying to discuss um, is like I value humans higher than animals. You do too. Um, of, Humans are animals, but like the animals we do uh, slaughter right now. And if uh, you do, uh, would holocaust the hum humans like you would do with animals, or you're doing with animals right now, then I think it wouldn't be okay to do this. 
And then the question of name tray is kind of what uh, do we have to do to humans that you would consider it okay? It's like a hard question. It's like the same question with uh, making your mom to a plant. What would yeah, be necessary? Yeah, but I mean, I could, and, I could, I could easily answer that. Yeah, me, you just said, like, well, sentience, or is, is that what you said? Well, if if you took a human and we we controlled for things like sentimental value, like the value that society has, like we just think it's weird to mutilate a corpse, right? Let's just say that it's it would be fine to kill a, a human if they're brain dead and there's no chance they'd come back to uh, to sentience. So there's there's absolutely no brain activity. I don't think stabbing them actually means anything. Like. There's no pain registered. There's no capacity for suffering to actually manifest. Yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, so I agree with that. And you have, like, yeah, just so I mean, so look, history so the history thing, the point, um, the point, refraining the you from that, eating your mud. Look, just the point of that, though, is that I can provide a clear answer to the question. And it doesn't seem like you can. Yeah, because... Um, did it, yeah. So just, I can, to the, but just to the room. Even right? if like I do, I am. You just, would say I am. For, for people listening, that's just my point. That's like I can provide an answer, and it doesn't seem like this guy who has been re nicknamed Infinite Stream of Bullshit actually can produce an answer. Because, yeah, I think whoever nicknamed him caught on to. Yeah, I think it the, was the, Isaac. And Isaac is like being disingenuous here, like. I don't know I if know it was Isaac. Everything what he did know. right, but I don't know if it was Isaac, right? But but I think that people listening are catching on that you're giving these bullshit psychoanalysis of the argument. You can't but, get around that. Yeah, but the uh, psychoanalysis uh, in an in of itself is like not bullshit. It's like probably not necessary and not important for the I'll argument. It's not relevant. It's like not what I'm saying is yeah, so, bullshit. Th- yeah, let's just say it's a red herring. Yeah, maybe. Um, but that's like not the same thing as like infinite stream of bullshit. And the thing is, I could I could say yes if, if, whoever did, if you whoever have a human's daughter. Whoever did that is hilarious. Thank you. What? Okay, but I mean, like, where, where, I mean, do we wrap up here or like, where, where are you personally going to go with this? Are you going to go back and just th- like, think about your sentiments, your moral values, or like, would you try the bean burger? Be honest. Like, it's delicious. Yeah, I, I can I send you a recipe. Problem with that. I don't know what, why you're coming up with it. What, what I observe is, I um, relate on a different level with humans that I do with animals, and I do not relate sufficient with those animals as I do with humans. That I would, um, it's like it's there's a will not another well, we, dimension because what I'm granting in the trade is like that's okay to holocaust animals and do what we do right now, but I don't have to hold this position. I tried for the sake of argument to well, say, okay, we're going yeah. to this way because you can then run your argument. But oh, I wait, already wait, said. Wait you're, wait, you're doing the ramble thing. Wait, I have to respond to what you said first. So, yeah, I mean, I get that you don't associate cows with exactly yeah, the, the same thing. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't eat. But I think if you don't value them enough, such that you actually think it's wrong to, like, do you, have you watched Slaughter? Like, do you actually know what they do? It's horrific. It's like, like you, you think that that's fine. Whatever we do to them. I don't know if you're aware. I don't but, have I mean, to. We, but we could, we could also, we could do two things, right? We could start showing you slaughter footage, or two, we could actually get you to associate cows with uh, more, more like their true nature, which is actually they're highly intelligent, they're cute, they're fluffy, they roll, they roll around, and all they want to do is uh, live their lives in a field and like play with their calves and play with balls and stuff. Like, I, I don't see why you would demand them to be dragged into a slaughterhouse. I think that's crazy. And I think that... Yeah, but I don't demand... I think that's a view... Sorry, sorry. Could you repeat that? Yeah. um, I was born into this world and the system was already set up. I did grow up with my parents 
uh, giving me this food, um, like not thinking about it. And after I did grow up with it and did um, get the habit of eating it occasionally, I um, I get the pleasure out of it. It, it. it tastes good. It is achievable. It's comfortable. It's affordable. It's practic uh, practical for my everyday uh, daily life to do it right now. And I'm not concerned uh, that much about the animals or my well-being is not dependent on the well-being of them. You well, don't I, get I think, think, or house images or footage. I think that view is... That's I the problem I have. I, you, don't, you don't get me with this emotional argument. The only way it is possible to get me, and that's what I don't, I don't know if it's an emotional is, argument. It's either. like the, I am very... I think it was a logical argument. Or health reasons, that's, I think, a strong case. Or the philosophical case, which is why I try to think about name the trade, where you don't have all this uh, emotional thing, like, because I have already the problem, I can't relate to them, and I... Uh, would care about being like log logically consistent and that's the reason why i go this way but it's like not um you don't have to show me this footage but because if you if you would do i still wouldn't have a problem with it and i would end up like on the psychopath way where a lot of corners end and and yeah so that's maybe the reason like i don't have like a big problem with it and that's like the problem i have because you can't show me this and then I will become vegan for this reason or something like well, that. Well, I mean, I think it's really it's really hard to watch a film like Dominion. Yeah, I, I, I did challenge... watch this Dominion. It was like in Australia, I think. They did uh, show what they do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's all f footage from the first world. It was yeah, so Australia. it does not give but, me like... But I think comfort. I challenge you to do, to do the Dominion dunk. So you, you take three grams of magic mushrooms and you watch dominion but i mean i don't i don't know if you'd actually be able to make it through it's just it's so overwhelming right um well um white rabbit yes it sounds like you were making an emotional appeal with uh meat tasting good you know stuff that tastes good makes you feel good you know, and so yeah it, it would like depend on the words i'm like limited by my capacity to talk in english but yeah, they're like things, like pleasure. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that, that accusing it of being an appeal to emotion, I don't think that that was actually fair. Because yeah, we're just know. like, yeah, because I think what I'm doing is, I mean, I provide you with a logical argument, so that's definitely not an emotional appeal. But just getting you to, uh, to give an analysis of your sentiments, I don't, I don't know what's like invalid about that but anyway i mean like is there something wrong i don't know if it's an appeal to emotion but if it was what would be wrong with that if i give you a, a scenario and ask you to analyze it and i give you some slaughterhouse footage and ask you to analyze it. What the fuck's wrong with that? Like, it's just the truth, right? So. Yeah. What I said, if, um, if you say like, we try to maximize well-being and reduce suffering, this inflicts suffering and to re um, reduces well-being principle argument or something like that. It's like stronger and um and like the baseline is yes we are emotional in the sense of that we as humans care about well being or at least about human well being and most people become vegan because they care about their own well being and they do it for their own sake because they would suffer inflicting pain on those animals they do it for themselves because they suffer less if they know that they are not participating in this <laughs> holocaust of animals and that's one reason. That's a weird others, take, but... where people um, become vegan because of this reason. They do it for their own well-being. That's like the problem I have. It's not necessary, or I don't get more well-being by stopping to eat it like others vegans would. I would get more well-being if I would um, think or reach the conclusion that the position I'm holding right now is not holdable. Like I, I shouldn't uh, be... Uh, eating meat anymore and that and then if i conclude that and i come to this conclusion 
it would uh, cause more suffering to myself being in this position. And that's why I would consider it to maximize my own well-being to become vegan. I'm not at this okay, point. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I mean, that... I mean, that's a mouthful, but I think... I think all we need to do, right, is understand what what the footage is like what's actually happening it sounded like you're not okay with the killing of animals currently because you appeal to things like we went to the ray gun yeah, scenario because, like, where, you think of a better world where it does not happen and if i can do that then probably yeah, it's not the best yeah yeah so so it's not even ethical the meat that you're currently eating it seemed like your view already you're just saying you're a hypocrite but if we're going into this hypothetical world where we have ray guns and we're just detonating cow's brain stems instantaneously, all right, but still, I can, sh- I can also show you how intelligent cows are. We can show you some of the behavior of cows. We can show you some – there are analyses on this, so we can go through that. And, and soon maybe – and it's my hope that you and others on vegans will start to – or actually stop associating associating cows with mentally deficient humans. Yeah, but I'm like not bringing the mental disabled humans uh, into the conversation. It's like always they're bring uh, brought up because humans care about them. Well, you, you were the one who argument, said that they lacked them in your moral evaluation. Come on, you you were the one who said they lacked intelligence and all of these things that. Typically, people associate with humans. Yeah. So that's like one uh, funny thing, and that's why I did not say it. But you could also ask if the experience of such a being is even worth it to live. That's something I'm not sure about it. What like, do you mean? Conditions like this Brie guy or uh, you did. Sh- or someone did. Oh, you met Brie? Channel. You met Brie? And oh. I did just look at, at this video. And I think it's like not okay to live. It's like better to not live than to live. But if you say that, then it would be better for the animals we slaughter not to live than to live no, 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 in these conditions. No, no, no. That, and then you not, would say, no, okay, it's better no, to not have not the Holocaust. Le- no, no. Where that leads is actually, it's not worthwhile to even breed the animals in the first place. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. So that would yeah, be a yeah, good so argument, you, I think. You, yeah, you, if you, you say you that's not worth it's a vegan li- view. That's that's a vegan view, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's the vegan uh, view in itself. Like, not because of the low capacities uh, cows or something like that have. Um, just because they're suffering, it's not worth living, and that's why they shouldn't live. Again, again I think that's like the vegan cow, position. I think cow lives are well. We've bred them to ha- to produce so much milk that. They'll get mastitis if we don't milk them. They're just producing unnatural quantities. So I think that these breeds, since they don't exist in the wild, we artificially created these species, probably shouldn't exist. We could create other ones with better qualities. Why are we not breeding them to have higher intelligence, right? It seems weird that we're breeding them just for exploitation purposes, like to get milk or meat or whatever, to get them to grow faster so that we can harvest their flesh faster. And, you know, it it's just for business. But I think that cow lives inherently are probably worth living. And I just have an intuition about that. I don't really have an argument for why I feel that way. So a cow just existing in a field on a sanctuary, rolling around, it's probably a life worth living. But the life where you take a cow and then you throw it down the slaughterhouse floor... I just think that's horrific to even conceptualize the fact that we could a not have that at all and not be breeding them or b have that where we're taking these cows and shoving knives literally if you've seen footage literally through their throat it's pretty graphic yeah but uh, using them for a means to an end or for what we, uh, we humans to maximizing the pleasure of humans using them for that for maximizing right. human well-being, you have a problem with it because it causes suffering to the animals. If you would, well, I think like, I think I think exploitation can just be inherently wrong. Not yeah, not but, even for the suffering. But if because I could not, have because expo- I could have exploitation, right? And I just define that as the unfair use 
So I would say an unjustified use. Yeah, but and it, again, I don't think you justified. That's the reason why you would say it's um, not just. Well, so we could have exploitation without suffering. Right? Yeah, but for like any example. Yeah, like there's the there's the free rider problem. So there's if you got into a car going one direction, the, the car was going that direction anyway. You're hopping in. You're using them, right? And let's just say that you're not paying them, so it's it's not even fair. We would we would say that that's there's no suffering that occurs there, but it's still exploitation. So, I I would still say that if you're using something unfairly, and again, you can use animals fairly. Like if you took a photo of a dog, I don't think that that's unjustified. I think that's that's fine, right? So you can still use animals. It's just when we talk about unfair use that it invokes this this other concept where most vegans have have very strong position on yeah, and, but, and i i don't think that the contrary is really defensible like it doesn't sound like you could defend it defending what exactly just non-veganism overall because if we're if we're appealing to a, a land of ray guns that doesn't actually exist, or I mean, we could do lab meat, right? But I mean, we don't have that. Yeah, on, um, on what I would say in a perfect world, maybe you could justify it, but you don't have this perfect world, and that's why you can. And this world, the perfect conditions, maybe it is possible. Yeah, but we're never going to get there. So yeah, so in this world, it seems, uh, reasonable. All right. Well, I mean, I'm done. I mean, if and if you have any closing thoughts, feel free to. Yeah. So thank you very much for the conversation. The pr the problem I did have with the superhuman uh, Superman example, was I I was not able to express what I think about it, or I have to think more about it. Maybe if you could uh, do the favor for me to write the reduction down in one sentence in a private message, so I can um, have it the way you you want it to be, so I don't um, have a false conception in my mind of it, and then I will think more about it, and maybe I will come to a conclusion or if, yeah, get to know sure. what the problem I get with that. Maybe that would be very cool uh, from you. Sure. Well, it's my birthday, so I'm going to go out, but. Um, maybe someone else listening can DM well, you. It's, it's your uh, birthday. Thank you for, yeah, thanks for the birthday debate. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I hope you you get pleasure out of getting the feeling of destroying a cornice or something like that. that no, was I wasn't trying to. Like, yeah, I mean, I was just really just trying to show you where where the view leads. I wasn't trying to slaughter the carnist or anything, but yeah, I mean, good discussion.